Hey everybody, this is Jeremy from the Practical IT channel, and I wanted to talk today a little bit about using Proxmox VE in the home lab. And so one of the pieces that people don't seem to fully grasp is that by default, Proxmox VE comes with an enterprise repository enabled. And again, if you don't know what a repository is, that that's something that uh, uh, read up a little bit about Linux and a repository is going to be a location where you pull your updates from. There, there's more to it than that, but that's enough to get you started today. As you can see on your screen here, we've got the Enterprise Proxmox Debian repository on this machine, as well as the Proxmox VE no subscription repository. And they're coming from two different locations. This uh, no subscription repository is in Etsy apt sources.list. And the enterprise is in Etsy app sources dot list dot d slash pve enterprise list so what we want to do is we want to remove this and then we're going to reload our app repositories here from the web interface and make sure that's gone because that will save us some frustration with error messages that pop up let's jump over to the terminal So what we want to do is we want to just get rid of this enterprise list repository, but let's take a look at what's in it first. And all it is, is just this line telling the location of the repository. So we can safely remove this. It's well documented online. If you ever need to add it in or you're adding a subscription, there's plenty of documentation available to do this. So we're just going to say remove RM PVE and hit tab. And we're going to take that off. And there, as you can see, it's gone. And then if we go back up one level, so CD dot dot and list out our files. Everything else is coming from sources dot list. So let's go into nano and take a look at that. So as you can see in here, we've got the standard Debian bullseye repositories at the top. And then for security updates, we've got the standard bullseye repository. And we've got the download Proxmox Debian, Proxmox VE bullseye PVE no subscription. And this is the key here. Because if you're using this for a lab environment, you're probably not going to pony up the cash to pay for a subscription. And that's fine. It's only when you get into a production type environment that you should really worry about paying for a subscription. So back here in the web interface, we're going to go ahead and reload this and notice that our enterprise list is gone. And then if we jump back to updates and we say refresh, it's still gonna tell us we don't have a valid subscription, but it is gonna go ahead and update. If we log out and log back in, we still get the nag box. You know, it's, it's one of those things where for a home lab server, since the pricing for a subscription is based on the number of processor sockets, if you're using a repurposed PC, then you might consider doing this. If, however, you're using a used server, as in a rack server, that might have multiple processors, you're probably not going to want to 
do the subscription. Now their lowest tier, uh, I believe is around 100 US dollars per year, give or take uh, based on fluctuating exchange rates, but you don't get an awful lot by having that support package. Yes, you're giving back to the project to keep the development going. However, the people behind Proxmox are going to make a whole lot more money off from business use of this product than from home lab users. So let your conscience dictate to you how you want to handle the situation. I just wanted to give some background on this. One more piece about the, the nag screen that comes up about not having a subscription. There is a way to get rid of that. I may do another video detailing that process. But for now, uh, we have successfully taken the enterprise repository out of the repository list. And we've got rid of one of the warnings. So this is just saying the no subscription repository is not recommended for production use. Well, I'm not running this in production. Nothing in my home lab is mission critical and therefore I do not feel compelled uh, until I get newer equipment to opt for a subscription. We'll just go ahead and run the updates and you can just as easily go to the command line and do this because it's just running apt update. And so we're up to date. Log out of the shell and close the window. We can refresh the page here and it should tell us that we don't have any more updates available. All right, so this has been just a quick look at doing updates and getting rid of the default enterprise repository from Proxmox VE7. And we are currently as of July 2021, we are running version 7.0.9 and I'm looking forward to building more videos on Proxmox 7 as things progress. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you all for watching the video. If you've got something out of this, please take a moment to like and subscribe and consider leaving some feedback down in the comment section. Tell your friends, tell your coworkers. We're growing this channel and every little bit helps. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there and happy computing. I'll see you in the next one.